What's happening there? What's poppin'? It is your favorite, Tisha Rozell, and today I am back with a little different video. My hair different, no makeup on my face, you know what I'm saying? Because today we're going to get real. We're going to talk about some real things that I feel like you guys should see the real me. So stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram at Tisha Rozell and Twitter at Tisha Rozell and Snapchat if y'all still use that period my nails look good in this light <laughs> so yeah guys hello my lovelies hello my beautiful people today is going to be another talk teach talk talk heavy teach video it don't necessarily got to be for only women it can be for men too even though i'm pretty sure this mostly women are watch this today we're going to talk about how to love yourself you know, and I'm like, I can't go to them and tell them how to love themselves if they don't see me in my natural form. You know, that's just my opinion, though. I feel as though if I'm trying to help you guys love yourselves, y'all should see me without any makeup, without any weave. The only thing that's fake is these contacts because I can't see. If you didn't know, I wear glasses and my vision is horrible. So, yeah, other than that, everything else is all natural. Okay, and I'm not going to look off my notebook on this video. I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just freebie it. I'm going to freestyle it. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a quick video. So a lot of times people, we think that we love ourselves or we like ourselves and we really don't. I was one of those people. Like people think, oh, because you're pretty or you're attractive or you got a nice body, you know, that automatically that just means that you love yourself and you got all the confidence in the world. And I'm here to tell you all that's not the case. Honestly, like I feel as though if you don't really love yourself or like yourself, you shouldn't even be in relationships because that's going to push you 10 steps back. Because it did for me. I'm just speaking from experience. I didn't love myself. I didn't value myself. And I was dating men who didn't love they self. So if they didn't love they self, how could they teach me how to love myself or even love me at all? And how could I love them if I didn't really love myself? You know, so it was a lot of codependency going on when I was dating. And I don't want y'all to sit here and think that, oh, I love myself and I got it all figured out because I don't. This is a struggle daily. But I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I did to help me love myself more. Okay? Okay. So, number one. In order to love yourself, you have to figure out, put all that you don't like on the table. You know, if you don't want to tell somebody, write it down. You just, like, like your soul, yourself, needs to realize that you notice what you don't like. And after you take those things that you don't like then it's easier for you to accept them. So now you know what you don't like about yourself. Like for instance, me, I don't like my natural hair. I'm, I'm a very hairy woman and runs in my family. That's something I don't like about myself. I used to stutter really badly. Things like that, I knew that I didn't love about myself. So now that I know and now that I'm informed, you know, I can work extra diligently to make myself love them. You know, like, it's like, this is how God made you. Once you realize this is how God made you, and if he wanted you any other way, he would have made you that other way. Then you realize, okay, God made me this way. So who am I to question the creator when you know he know what he doing? If he wanted you to be a brighter skin tone, he would have made you that way. If he wanted you to be skinny, he would have created your body that way. But that's not how or who who you're meant to be so don't try to be that way you know because honey i've never been no size two you know but my mom is a very petite woman that's just how god wanted her now that's not me so you know i work out and i stay in shape for my health you know which is good for you to work out and stuff like that but i would never try to really like starve myself to be a size two because that's just not what god wanted me to be so once you realize and acknowledge your weaknesses and your flaws about yourself, then you can start to put extra work in to love those things about yourself. Okay? All right. Number two, in order to start loving yourself, you need to learn yourself. Okay? You need to learn what you like, what you dislike, what you hate, what you can't stand, what makes you nervous, what, what makes you happy, what, what put fear in your heart. 
you need to learn those things about yourself. Because I know with me, like, I was, when I started dating, I was 16, 17 years old. So, I didn't even know who I was. And here I am dating these men, not knowing who I am. And they trying to make me who they want me to be. So, like I said, it pushed me a couple of steps behind because I was trying to be who they wanted me to be. Not who God wanted me to be, you know? So, like, once you take time to yourself, and you're going to have to do this on your own time and your singleness. You cannot try to figure out who you are while you're dating someone. You know, like it's it's just going to be very messy and very difficult. So while you're single, find out who you are. Find out what you like. Find out what your passions are. Find out what's your dream, you know, because you shouldn't be in a long committed relationship if you can't even tell that man or that woman what your dream is. You know, because like you should be working towards your dream and your passion every day. And I'm pretty sure they might know what they dream are. So how is it fair to you that you're live that, that you're dating this person or with this person and they're working towards their dream, but you're probably helping them in some type of way if you're in a relationship and you can't even sit here and tell nobody what your dream is. No, honey, you don't love yourself. I'm sorry. Cause when you love yourself, you understand it's okay to be selfish, you know? Now, you need a little bit of selflessness, too, in a, you know, to be in a healthy relationship. But when you love yourself, you understand it's okay to be selfish. Because if you don't take care of yourself, who wants to take care of you? You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's going to carry and hold your heart and value you like you do. And that's just how it is. So, number three. If you have any anybody negative in your life. For one, you don't love yourself because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be putting yourself through that. And that was me for a while. I had toxic boyfriend after toxic boyfriend after toxic boyfriend. And I'm like, hmm, it can't be them. So I had to internally look at myself and I'm like, Tisha, that's the problem. You don't love yourself. So it's not possible for you to attract a man who loves himself. Y'all, that's just not how the law and the nature of the world work. Positive and negative cannot coexist. You know? Think about it. If you have a positive and a negative, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, the negative turns that positive negative. If you have a positive and a positive, they both stay positive. Same thing within your life. If you have somebody negative, a leech that's like toxic and taken away from you, how is it positive possible for you to love yourself when you're dealing with this toxic person. You don't love yourself because if you do, you wouldn't be there. So you need to get rid of anybody toxic in your life and have faith that God will replace them with somebody a thousand, a million, a trillion, camera this way, times better. You know, it was a picture going around a little while ago that had this little girl and God was trying, God had a big teddy bear behind his back. And he was asking for her smaller teddy bear, but she was so holding on tight to it, didn't want to let it go. And that's a lot of us in life. God is wanting us to let go of these little negative things that's pushing us back. And he has something waiting behind his back to give to you, you know, but he cannot release it to you until you let that, that situation or that little thing go. He has something so much better for you. So, if you want to learn how to love yourself, you got to get rid of the leeches and the toxic people in your life, baby. Because they can't go on this journey with you. And to be honest with you, nobody can go on this journey with you. It has to be you and God. This is not a two or three person journey. It's a two person journey. You and God. So, yes, that's all the advice I had. Like I said, I wanted, you, I wanted to come to you guys in my natural form because you know there was a point in a time to where i didn't even uh, i wouldn't even wear my natural hair out you know i never was the type to always wear makeup every single day and i'm not criticizing any woman who does that you know but i was the type to always wear wigs like you would never see my natural hair but guess what your natural hair is beautiful god made you how he wanted you okay and whoever doesn't like that they can hit the road you know what i'm saying bye and queen you don't need makeup every day you don't need makeup to go check check the mail you don't need makeup to go to the gym 
And I'm not coming at anybody who wear makeup every day, but I just want y'all to understand that you don't need it. Don't feel like you're not beautiful without it. Because, you know, it's just an enhancer. Look at makeup as being an enhancer, you know, because your natural beauty is the best and nothing and it can't get any better than that so yes i love you guys thank you guys for watching comment below dm me email me and tell me you know if you're on a self-love journey if you just got done with a self-love journey or even if, if you're beginning you know what i'm saying let me know if you need any tips if you need somebody to listen to i am here for y'all i'm like y'all big sis y'all auntie depending on how old you are i ain't that old i'm only 23 yeah, but I'm here, you know, and if you need me, hit me up. I love you guys. Be blessed. And remember, I love you, but God love you even more.